Hi, Bill Henshaw here. I have something I want to read to you that I think you'll find interesting. Well, here we go again. Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, John Conyers, Southern Poverty Law Center, NAACP, Maxine Waters. You're either too ignorant to be in a position of authority for your people and or are actively selling them out on false hope and false promises. And this cannot be any clearer than with the recent announcement by Donald Trump that he will issue an executive order which does away with birthright, a.k.a. quote-unquote birthright citizenship, emanating from Section 1 of the non-existent 14th War Amendment, and or that Congress is considering the same thing via mere legislation. At least this is the truth in advertising, as it were, since the 14th War quote-unquote amendment does not exist as such and never has, making it a simple matter for an executive order or mere legislation to be effective here. And it identifies the jurisdiction of the non-existent 14th War amendment for exactly what it is, federal, regional, martial law rule, which has been used very creatively by Wall Street banksters to divide and conquer for far too long. And this is precisely the reason the situation should be recognized with it understood that neither Africans or Asians will be losing anything at all and any quote-unquote gains that have been made have come at a dear cost. The weakening of the nation and republic to the point that even Hitler would be green with egregiously evil envy at the sphincteress serpentine sleight of hand with which the government has been controlled and the public deceived. Or, as T.S. Eliot put it more succinctly, the last temptation is the greatest treason to do the right thing for the wrong reason. Now, a brief commentary on what I just read to you. And we'll start with Hitler, and I could easily have also included Kim Jong-un and Pyongyang. At least administrations of this type are what Ayn Rand described as intellectually a lot more honest, because you know what you get. They made no bones about it in Berlin or in North Korea. They own you. That's the way it is. Here it's so intellectually dishonest and corrupt, and they lead you astray to make you think one thing, and it's actually the other, better known in Langley, Virginia, as black is white. That's how this system operates. They keep everything behind the scenes. You never see it until people like me get out there and start telling you what the truth is. And then the other thing about this, if you think about it, uh, is that I probably personally did more good for black people when in my five months in the Alvin S. Glenn Detention Center in Columbia, South Carolina, than any of these aforementioned people or groups have done for their people. I actually helped get some people out of jail, which is probably a hell of a lot more than you can say for Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton, for what it's worth. And so that's the way that is. And, oh, by the way, I need, I've been reminded here, i got to tell you to check my link out on the 14th Amendment Explained. There's a link on the bottom. You can go to that. It has a lot more to say about it. And please remember to like this video and subscribe.